another Saturday afternoon, which means another Gold Diggers vlog is on its way. And this afternoon we are currently in a pub in Fairham, waiting to get into the ground that Matt can't get into at the moment, uh, for a bit of FA Cup action against the mighty Bashley. in Fairham for the big FA Cup prelim game against Bashley today and as you can see the sun is out for once on one of these vlogs and it's not actually raining but once again it's a little bit windy today so yeah we're gonna have to uh, keep a close eye on this camera because uh, Matt's got a little story to tell us quickly. Well yes at Millbrook last week when I was filming um, the camera had an accident and basically 500 pounds later we've now got a new camera. So what's your view on the game today then Matthew? You've done a little bit of research. I have. Um, Fairham doing, doing quite well in the league. Um, solid little club, always averaging sort of about two, three hundred fans up here normally. Plus also you've got the local derbies against Baffins and Porchester, um, Fleetlands, quite a lot of teams in this area. Um, they lost their two main strikers, the Benfield brothers. One's gone to Baffins, New Milton and one to Porchester. Uh, but they've replaced them with Blackford and Langley striker Sam Woodward, who scored three goals in three games so far this season. Um, some other players coming in, and they've got some of the new goalkeeper also from Blackfield and Langley. That is uh, Jordi Vero Mert, I believe, and they've also signed uh, Joe Merritt from Blackfield and Langley. Um, so, sort of um, picking off maybe the teams below them last season to better players to come in and replace the players that have gone out. Bashley, we'll know, got promoted in 21-22. Um, lost uh, Sam Davidson to Wimbledon and Jack Lovell, I think, with the Hamworthy. But they've added some signs in. Ben Jeffords come from Totten. So has the veteran Brett Williams. You must know Brett Williams. Yes. Um, very well known at low levels of football. ex Eastley played uh, for Reading as well for a bit. All the shot. Um, but yeah, he'll get a few goals for them, I think, this season. But it's an FA Cup game, so... Yeah, Bashley being a level up and a slightly um, more established players, you expect them to win this on paper, but you never know in the FA Cup, do you really, at, at any level. So it should be an interesting game regardless. So we're just going to nip off, just uh, check out the clubhouse now, and yeah, we'll report back. on tap actually, they've got a few other beers, uh, they've got Inches Cider, they've got John Smith's, got a couple of other pale ales as well, but also as you go in the clubhouse, I like, I like their own personalised carpet, which Matthew's going to show you now. A little, good little bit of seating inside the clubhouse, a little bit dark, but, and also they have a downside, they've got Saints on the telly as well, but you know, you, you can't have it all in the clubhouse, but for this level, pretty decent clubhouse and pretty decent cold beer. Charles Dale, who's the president of Fairham Town FC. Um, looking forward to the day, FA Cup, always a bit special? It's always a special day when FA Cup is around. It's one of the best days of the year. Um, tell us a little bit about Fairham Town Football Club. What's the sort of appeal for to get fans to come and down to Wessex League Football? Well, the, the, the appeal is it's such a great family club that everybody feels involved and everybody's talking about it and I'm just so excited about the way it's going. And it's gone really well so far this season, two wins from two in the league? Yes. Up in fifth. Yeah, yeah. What's, what's the aim for this season then? The aim is obviously to, to finish higher than we did last season, um, but after two games no one can get carried away. So uh, yeah, it's better than two defeats. Brilliant. Thank you very much for your time. I appreciate that. Thank you.
is currently fair in town one, Ashley nil, which is a bit of a surprise in, in, in its own little way, but Fairham come out of the blocks early doors pretty much of a goal in the first minute. A really well taken goal from Ethan Jones. Lovely little first time finish from the edge of the box. Curled into the bottom corner. But other than that, there's not really a lot to report on the game in terms of clear cut chances. Ashley have grown into the game last 15, 20 minutes, but they're not really doing a great deal of it. Fair and goalkeeper pulled off a good save from, from a header. Other than that, this loud goal for offside. But yeah, Ferrum look comfortable for the lead. I watched it like everyone at least three times. Though. Three! Waza! <laughs> After a first minute cracker by Ethan Jones to give Ferrum a 1-0 lead, it still remains 1-0 at half time to Ferrum. But you have to say, Bashley have been turning the screw the last 20 minutes of the first half. And I think, apart from the Ferrum goalkeeper pulling off a few good saves, they should really be level at half time. So, what do you think about the first half, Matthew? Great finish from Jones. Um, first really minute, well killed it. Boss Casey, no chance. Um, but. I like the way Ferrum have kind of played, to be fair. Um, as much as Bashley are turning the screw showing now are a league higher, I think Kieran Clark and Ronan Galloway at the back for um, Ferrum being really strong. They look organised, don't yeah, they? Yeah, the they look very organised. They're looking to try and catch him on the break with Sam Woodward up front. Um, he had a chance that he scuffed. He missed kick, to, yeah. He missed kick. But they're saying that. Also, you've got to give credit to Geordie Valero Merton goal. He's pulled off like two or three brilliant saves. That one from the header. Really. Yep. Really good Adam, Adam Grange free header and he, he pulled up a brilliant save for that and then he's kept him in the game. Um, it's kind of your typical higher league, lower league FA Cup tie. Um, F. Ferrum got the legs to see it out, maybe. Bash do seem to have they you know grown into the second half and well, Yeah, they've, the got, half, they've got some subs to bring on, they Brett Williams will probably make an appearance. I, I imagine so, a bit of experience to try and get that goal, put it back. Um, be interesting to see how it goes. I wouldn't say for definite which team could win you. No, no, and I think you know you wouldn't be surprised if Ferrum hold on to this one. They'll lead it effectively. So they've been playing well first half, but you'd imagine Bashley will have a few more good chances throughout the game, and they do look a bit more clinical in front of goal. But only time will tell. Right, we're gonna go get a beer before we get hit by a flying football. Yeah, that, that <laughs> pretty much.
Oh, staying the Crows. Um, final score, Fareham 2, Bashley 3, but that doesn't begin to tell the game at all, really, to be honest, because 89 minutes gone, it was 1-0. One, one <laughs> and, yeah, three goals pretty much in added time, which was 10 minutes officially, but Bashley scored the winner in the 114th minute. But on the balance of play, Bashley were the worthy winners. Feel a bit unlucky for Fareham because they put in a really good shift to be fair. But I think the better team won at the end of the day, and we all love a bit of drama. So three goals in an injury time, can't complain. So what's your view on the game, Matt? Um, yeah, it started slow, didn't it? There's Ethan Jones obviously scoring the first minute, literally yeah. straight from kickoff. Then Bash obviously grows the second half once Brett Williams come on that big experience up front. A little bit of quality, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, good finish. Good corner routine, I thought, yeah, as well. Yeah, really good. Worked on the training, clearly. Um, then they went 2-1 up. Um, we, we've had a bit of a debate off-camera about what we, if the goalkeeper could have done better, but I personally think there's not much of it. It was a good strike, yeah. yeah. Hard strike. Yeah. yeah. Um, then, obviously, Curtis Robbins pops up and equalised. You think, OK, this is going to a replay. And suddenly... Yeah. Toby Bailey, who I think is an absolutely brilliant sign for them, came from Limington last season, played the last few games towards the end of the season with Bash. Um, he pops up and scores a winner. That's pretty much the 103rd minute of the game, though, 104th minute of the game. I think mean, the ref was very generous if they added on time, so I don't think even he could be bothered with a replay, to be fair. <laughs> but yeah, I think the best team won. But it's been a good day out of Fareham, hasn't it, Matthew? Yeah, it's a well, well-supported club. It's one of the well-supported clubs, obviously, in this league. Uh, it's one of the Portsmouth-based clubs in this league, as I mentioned earlier. There's a lot of teams around here. Um, a good turnout. I mean, getting a off now, they put you know, put so much effort into it as well. And I think the tactic, when they won one new up, they look solid. They look solid. They had the game plan. Yeah. Uh, the two centre-backs, Very actually good. spot on. Goalkeeper, Valero, I thought, he won man of the match, and I think it's well-deserved. So they've pretty much got a decent team, haven't they, to probably yeah. push up the um, Wessex League. So, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if they're there or thereabouts in the season. But I do have to say on their stadium, it's a really nice stadium for this level. Nice open stadium, you can walk all the way around, which is great. Good little clubhouse, nice little bar, friendly bar staff. <laughs> and it's got a lovely old school stand, and I love a bit of stand pool on me. So it's got a lovely elevated stand with seats. So... I'm not complaining at all today, so it's been a very good day out. We're going to go to the bar. I might get another cider to replenish myself after a pretty good second half here. And then we've got to figure out if we're going to beat the Pompey fans on the train home or not. So we'll catch you soon. Beautiful.